This episode is brought to you by the Public Investing app. Use the link in the top comment to get up to $73 in free stocks, baby, and no payment for order flow. I love to see it. So, without further ado, this is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them is, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, you already know what time it is. This is not a suggestion to buy, hold, or sell. However, I know they want you to sell your AMC shares. They want you to sell your GameStop shares. I'm not selling mine. I'm not having that. If you are holding on to yours, you don't have to. You be the judge. But if you holding on to yours, put a gorilla in the chat, baby. Now, let's talk about it. Mainstream media is starting to flip the script all over again. Before, they were putting out all these articles about how you need to sell now. GameStop is all the way down. AMC is all the way down. Sell it, sell it, sell it, they tell you. But you know what? Look at how they flipped the script after it runs up, after they told you to sell low, right? CNBC, again, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, even though I got the receipts, nobody's trying to get sued. But check this out. The meme stocks are not dead yet, they said. Why GameStop and AMC are holding up. But remember, mainstream media was not pumping out articles like this when they were all the way down. They pump it out way after it pumps. And then they like to tell you, oh, yeah, it's holding up, right? But when it was coming down, they tell you, sell, sell, sell. Hit that sell button, baby. But check this out. GameStop is currently up 14% at the time of this recording on a day. It's up basically 65% in the past week. However, remember, on a year, it's still down over 28%. So let's see what's going on with them in the news. Check this out. Loop ring token, loop ring tokens surge 40% on GameStop NFT marketplace beta launch as of March 23rd. So what's going on with that? Check this out. Byron, Byron Loop Ring, who is the startup founder at Loop Ring. So he's involved behind the scenes with that cryptocurrency Loop Ring. And keep in mind, Loop Ring is a level two on top of Ethereum. So Ethereum is the main blockchain for the smart contracts but loop ring is built on top of it to kind of make it like work faster and be cheaper so then it makes a lot of sense to make nfts with those instead of just straight up ethereum right so it gets you reduced some of those fees that's one of the main things it costs a lot of the fees when you go and buy something or transact with ethereum it costs a whole lot of fees but if you use loop ring to do it you pay literally hundreds of times less to still use the Ethereum blockchain, but you're using it on Loopring. Okay, so now Byron Loopring, who is a startup and founder, basically at Loopring, he basically said this, and it was retweeted by Loopring's official Twitter page. He said he's so happy to be able to properly interact with you all, all of you apes, the male apes, and the apex, the female apes in this case. And then he put a little strong muscle, right? And then he said Loopring. X GameStop and we're just getting started. Let's go. I'm hoping to see them apes in the chat. Do me a favor and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button as well because YouTube, you already know how they getting down and we got to make sure that we combat that and keep the likes up and keep the videos going. Now, let's check this out. When you look into what's going on, they said this has potential to cement itself on the forefront of this new paradigm basically of global digital economies global digital economies they're talking about the internet they're talking about web 3.0 they're talking about the metaverse where people are going to be in there basically just spending money and using cryptocurrency to do it digital currency right let's check this out there are rumors or there were rumors basically since november you know how people buy the rumor and sell the news remember that there were rumors since november that basically this was a meta or a metaverse related project and now we're getting a confirmation on that. So keep that in mind. Now, why is this even important at all? I want you to think about how people are buying things online. Think about if you ever played Fortnite or you know someone who was playing Fortnite, how they have many different skins for your character, how you could go in there and you could be different kind of characters like Carnage, you could be Spider-Man, you could be probably Darth Vader, all of these different kind of other mainstream characters. But if GameStop and Loop Ring get the NFT space basically in the marketplace going then they'll be able to actually sell these things to everyone basically in the metaverse or even on twitter or even online or anything like that but they could literally buy these things and then keep those buy orders on the blockchain so then let's say that they wanted to release only one character who was spider-man and you had to pay xyz amount to be spider-man then in this case you would be the only one able to do that or a limited amount of people will be able to do that and it will be locked into the blockchain to make it so that is the case and there's no disputing. Now, let's keep it going. Let's look at a real world example of this already being done. And look at this, 
cool Roblox outfit, the video game Roblox, right? Where you can spend your Robux, your kids, nine times out of 10 have either played this or have friends that are playing this, right? Cool Roblox outfits that cost less than 500 Robux. Robux can be bought with real USD and then you can spend it in a game, kind of like a cryptocurrency, but in a digital online currency that has real value in the game that can be translated right back into the real world again, because you can actually sell Robux for real dollars. Now, let's check this out. People are actually, particularly children, are actually buying these different outfits for their characters or their avatars in these games. Now, Loop Ring and basically GameStop are gonna get in on this kind of an idea, but they're gonna actually expand it into, you could consider what you could do with NFTs. You can make land, right? You could have music, any kind of media, really, you could turn it to an NFT, and now they'd be actually able to track it and sell it. This is a great fundamental thing for the company of GameStop. Let's get to our fast fact of the day. Did you know that GameStop opened up Movie Stop? In 2004, it says this, in 2004, GameStop took its first steps in other media markets, movies in particular. They opened Movie Stop, and they had 40 different locations, right? And they were focused on selling retailers movies, right? Similar to how they would sell games, like on the disc, right? Did you know that? Let me know in the comments. Yes, I knew that, or no, I did not know that. But let's get to the short interest on AMC. You know I always got the receipts for you. Ortex recently posted the estimated short interest and they said that when GameStop popped up 14 percent basically Ryan Cohen who is the basically leader over at GameStop he disclosed a 10.2 million dollar open market purchase however the short interest in this case is 14.6 million which represents 23 percent of all of the shares meaning 23 percent of all of the GameStop shares are being used to press the price down and basically bet against GameStop right and then with that being said, this 14% increase, this led short sellers to a $255 million loss basically today. They are down that much, basically a quarter of a billion dollars just because GameStop is up over 14%. Now, what's crazy about that to me is that they still betting against GameStop. If I was a short seller and I got smoked back when GameStop first popped off, right? I would have just let it go and let it be. But you see the arrogance of Wall Street, how they always feel, you know what? I know I was right. And they just keep digging a hole and digging a hole and digging a hole. We already heard about the billions of dollars that these short sellers have already lost and they just can't stop. They can't stop, won't stop. Now, let's get to this. GameStop institutional holdings. Believe it or not, some institutions are still holding on to GameStop shares the long way. So check it out. Institutions own 26% of GameStop as of the last reported quarter. They increased their position by 1.2 million shares. Last quarter, they decreased it by 1 million. So there was more buying than selling of GameStop in the last quarter. And then new positions, basically 312,000, and then sold out positions, 152,000. So believe it or not, more institutions are buying GameStop than actually selling it. Just slightly, but more buying than selling. Now, check this out. You know Wall Street is always hating on whatever retail investors like. Let's look at the price targets on GameStop. Always take price targets with a grain of salt. They're not Nancy Pelosi. They don't know. So check it out. They said that, and they don't know for certain, but they do try to put some fundamental values on these. And I do want you to think of this though, with GameStop and Loop Ring opening up this new NFT marketplace, this fundamentally makes GameStop a more valuable company than it was yesterday. So check it out. They say it's $51 and this is a decrease of basically 63% where they see it's going to go. The highest price target is $100 and then the lowest is $23 of all three analysts that rated it in the last three months, which is crazy because you know GameStop is one of the most popular stocks on the entire market and only three analysts rated it. That tells you how Wall Street feels about retail investors and the things that we're interested in. So basically, two of them said sell it, one of them said hold it. Let's look at the levels. Remember, this is one of the most important parts of the video. I always want you to understand the supports and resistances. So we have a resistance at about 142, just in that range. The 142 range, if we break above it and hover and stay above it, family, there's almost no resistance. There's some, but almost no resistance all the way up to the 155. So we would love to see that run from the 142 to the 155 range. You already know what time it is. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell call options, but understand that there's no resistances up there. There could be new resistances that come at 150, but be on the lookout for that. Now, if we broke under 
the 142, then there's a lot of supports down there. But the floor for GameStop in the last recent times has been 75. So now I want to just show you this comment today. And my guy said this. He said he's holding strong on Mullen. And he has 4,100 shares. And he bought it nearly two weeks ago, basically for 79 cents. And he's up 3x now. And he said he's praying it's go to $10, right? I want you to understand this. If you are up so much on a play, it's always okay to take your original investment out at least, or maybe even a little more than that, so you can have some profit and lock that in. So then no matter what happens, you already won. Now, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell that. But again, when you invest and you hope that something goes here or pray that something goes there, that's not a great way to invest, family. You got to have the data. You got to have the facts. But remember this, if nothing else, if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Mullen is a great swing trade. If it runs up to here and you made three extra money, guess what? I'm selling some and then I'm rinse and repeating, baby. When it come back down, I'm buying it again. It goes back up. You already know. Rinse and repeat. Again, hit the like button on your way out. I love y'all. Take care.